See? I love cats. The only cat I can simply say I hate with all intent is a copycat. Um, such as a copycat friend. Um, I've had one of those, and I even have a copycat enemy. Um, you know, like, you know, your best friend, she adores you, she loves you, she would basically do anything for you, but she copies you, your clothes, and it's not flattering to you, it's actually quite annoying, I had someone like that in my life. Like, I, you guys know I'm just in a Japanese schoolgirl style, because I think it's cute, and I love it. Another one of my friends is dressed like that, and at first it wasn't that bad, because she always dressed like that, according to her. And, um, she came from a school where you basically did dress like that, because, um, it was like a Catholic school or whatever. Um, me, um, I just liked it because I thought it was cute, and I found it better. She, um, I, uh, you guys know I had China Dow bangs for a while, but first I had a side bang, and I noticed when I had a side bang, she, she kept hers. But when I changed to a China Dow bang, she kind me how cute it was and she saw everybody else liked it so she changed she wouldn't get her stylist to do hers i don't refuse to cut my hair i'd rather style my bang myself because if you cut your hair and you don't like it well it's supposed to be you so no um so i noticed like and, and then i even noticed the other day when i saw one of her videos um i had switched back to a side thing and she had commented on my video that um you know, it's really unusual to see you in a um, side thing. You haven't been like that in a long time. And I saw one of her newest videos, and that's what she's wearing, a side thing. And you guys are like, well, it could you? It's not really. No, it's not. Because <laughs> this person always wasn't like that. And she accused me of popping once when she made a fake account to um, piss me off, I guess. And she said, copy how much? Because she saw I was posed like this. And I had my China doll bangs. And, um. Um, I was wearing a school t-shirt, and she was posing like this, and she had her China doll bangs, and she was wearing a school uniform. The only difference is, besides the school tee is that I had my Chinese bangs forever, and she just decided to get them because I had them. And um, she had the same bag as me, she wore the same clothes as me, it's kind of, it's quite creepy actually, but um, I know she just liked me, and she just, you know, and um, at one point I saw... I talked to her, and I was actually really annoyed with her. She copied everything I did. It was getting really a pain in the ass. Um, how do I talk to a copycat friend? Um, I didn't give it a gentle approach. I was actually quite rude about it because I was pissed off because I was the original one around her who spoke Japanese, and she tried to speak Japanese. And it was always whiny. Like, when she didn't get it, she like, oh, she, yeah, I'm serious. She actually won Japanese. It was quite irritating. So I'm like, what the fuck? Are you crazy? Don't don't speak Japanese like that because it, it it sucks. First of all, her Japanese was terrible. She just tried to be like me, and um, I guess sometimes you can say it was flattering, but to me it was very quite annoying. Basically, is to sit down and talk to them about how you feel. And um, I was reading this one thing about this girl who said she had a copycat friend because she's a punk. I'm a punk too. I, I you guys know I struggle with thousands of different crowds because I don't feel like I should be limited. She said that she had this friend that copied everything she did. Like she um she was saying like she'll buy the clothes as her, she'll tear her holes in her tights to like hers or whatever they, they have on that day. And she said like and she said, I have pink hair now and now she says that she wants it too. And I was just like, I feel bad for this person because that's annoying as hell. And somebody said you should take her shopping and get her, her own clothes or pick her out so that you cheat like or whatever, this or that, this or that. And I'm like, well, some of them have to be a little bit mean because um, cause a lot of people don't like copycat friends because they rip off their individuality and feel like your identity is being taken away, which is how I was feeling with the person. And, um, I didn't like what they were doing, because I was the, you know, I was the original around there. I didn't like what they were doing. So, um, basically, if you have a person like this and they're not respecting how you feel about it, the best thing to do probably is to probably not talk to them anymore, because copying you is one thing, but being a bad listener about it is another thing, and it's just, it's just stupid, because, um, because they should respect your feelings, and if you feel like they're not being, I'm playing with this song, I'm sorry. And if you feel like they're not being respected, you should probably consider not hanging out with this person anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> probably consider not hanging out with this person anymore. Which is what 
um, which is what I think is the best to do, because if this person won't even listen to you, and, you know, because like, she said that her friend was like, oh, no, I'm not, like, they just blow you off, and they try to act like you, it's annoying, because I've seen so many scenarios with this, and I just, I don't even allow it to happen to me, because I'm like, no, you're not to copy me, if you do, I'm just going to ditch it, everybody's going to know that you're a copycat loser, <laughs> because, um, it's like, it's like, this could be your best friend, but, like, a lot of people say that that's actually first sign of a stalker. <laughs> Believe it or not, because I was watching this new series that they don't have anymore, but it's called Stalked. And it basically tells the tale of these women that were stalked. And she said the first thing that happened was this woman started to dress exactly like her. Like, started to, like, buy the same blouses as her and follow her to retail stop shops to get the same thing she had, which I thought was so fucking creepy. But, yeah, um, I think the first thing you should do is try to talk to them. And if they don't listen, you should try, um, avoiding them. So maybe they see that you really are upset about this. Or, like, if they, or, like, if they're not, just not even making the effort to listen to you, just stop talking to them. And, um, the second pass for this is going to be how to tell a real friend from a fake friend. Actually, it's going to be, I think I'm going to try to cover a lot in this video, so scratch the second half part. A real friend is someone that you actually will see outside of school or, you know, work or whatever, um, and, um, someone who you actually talk to about your problems and you don't think they'll go and tell everybody and someone who you could basically who's basically like you hang around them more than just one to just one outside of school i mean in school a fake friend is like if you hang out with them outside of school you can tell them the fake because like um this one girl had she always had a nasty habit of talking about me and then i was like why don't you talk about taiki taiki like that i'm not I finish her name, Taiki, like that. And uh, she says, because I'm a true friend to her, and it's like, first of all, it's a maybe they're not your true friend, and yeah, they're not your true friend. <laughs> but um, how you can tell is, it's like, um, I remember I was in this group, and I was always the odd man out, so to speak. And um, it was just like, you know, and if I try to tell them how I felt, they'd be like, oh, you're overreacting, or they just blow me up, and that's not, you know, a good thing. Or, if they, or another reason is to how you can tell if they're with friends is if they only come to you when they need something. Like how they only like they only come to you if they need help with their homework or they need money because like with me it was with money it was a thing with me it happened in grade school where they just want money from me. And as long as I was able to buy them food, they were okay with me. And um, basically, like someone you see more than they did, they, they come to you even if they don't need anything from you. That's what a real friend is. They come to you when they don't need anything. Fair with a friend, the people who only come to you because they can get things off of you. Two examples of there were the friends would be January and Carlene. And you guys are like, what the fuck? I'm talking about Angela and Anaconda. Nanette doesn't know this, but they're not her real friends. They, they like, I, like, as soon as, like, someone else with more power comes along or who's more popular, they're, they're most likely not even going to hang out with her. They're such drones now, but until they get older, but of course, I don't think that ever happens in the series. And, um, that's basically it on, like, fair weather friends and copycat friends. You just have to be aware and just, you know, know who they are as a person. And that's pretty much it. And I think this, um, this video was a bit shorter than what I thought it was going to be, but I really wanted to touch on some of these topics or, so, or whatnot. And, um, you know, basically try to, you know, give you guys as much information as possible. Um, let's see. Oh, here's, okay. Um, here is a how to, how to extinguish the class pet. You guys are like, what the hell? I have a few of these in my, um, my course because, um, this one I have somewhere in and we couldn't have our phone on until after the program was done, and it was done. But um, we still had to wait in the building for whatever reason to get out. And I was looking at my phone, and it was like, oh, what's going on over here? And I'm like, well, it's afterwards, so it's fine. And this, uh, this, oh, no, no, after school, when I was in high school. And this fat bitch, I hate this woman, this stupid girl. She's always like, no, we're not, cell phones are supposed to be out until we reach out to school grounds. So like, that's what I thought. Thank you. I said, no, I asked you, she's like, no, let's not be rude. And the class pet, basically, I, this is going to sound really mean, but if the class pet just gets good grades, she's friendly towards the teacher, they have a good relationship or something, don't be mean to them. But if it's one of those snitchy class pets, the ones that tell on everybody for everything, and the ones who lick the teacher's feet, and are basically their dogs. Feel free to be a bitch. <laughs> so, yeah.
seriously, I'm not nice to the class pet because I don't like anyone who kisses the professor's asses or the teachers just to get, you know, they want to get good grades, but that's fine. There's a, but well, I think there's a fun line between the, being a class pet, a kiss ass, and a snitch. Uh, this person is, I could be like, I was over there texting one time, one thing like this, Jasmine, put your phone away, and some of the teachers even, even the teachers will start, like, snitchy class pets, so, like, are you snitching again? Like, okay, we didn't see her, so you can't prove that she was one who was texting. But yeah, basically the way to deal with them is to, don't even, like, if you want to be friends with them, if you guys are friends, then you'll pretty much be safe, because they won't tell on 